All right, here we go with a, a cool pen testing tool I've been playing around with. This is called Cookie Cadger. What this does is it identifies information from applications that utilize insecure methods during HTTP GET requests. Um, this is mainly for applications, uh, web applications. Um, what this does is uh, during transactions that aren't secure, it will uh, capture the data from them, such as account information, so you can replay this back later and uh, basically hijack a session from somebody. This used to be uh, very popular uh, a few years ago on Facebook because Facebook didn't uh, implement SSL or TSL um, during their transactions so people could get their accounts hijacked. Uh, but th what this is, is just a pen testing tool for websites and uh, it's a pretty neat tool. So what you need to get this installed is Java and Wireshark, mainly part of Wireshark is uh, T-Shark that it needs to run with. Also, um, the legalities of using this tool, you can only use it on websites and, and for accounts that you have access to. So anything outside of that is probably illegal in your country. So check your local laws. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, we'll go ahead and select our session and start capturing on our uh, NIC. Here's a website that I found that does not secure transactions. Uh, I want to show you that right now I'm logged in uh, with Chrome and we're using Firefox to replay the session in. I'm just demoing and showing you that I'm not logged in currently. So let's go ahead and get logged in. And Cookie Cadger this whole time is going to be capturing this data during, uh, during this session. I'm just clicking on these to kind of give Cookie Cadger some more data to play with and to capture. And that should be enough. So we got our NIC there. These are all the parts of the session we captured. You can see where I logged in. Kind of gives some different information about it. And we're going to go ahead and replay this one. I just click one after the login because obviously you don't want to capture something during the login process or after because you might not get the correct... Uh, part of the session you want. So here we go. Session is loading up. And as you can see, I am logged in in Firefox of that user. So I could go in and change the password, do whatever I wanted because I'm basically hijacked the session from the other from the other one. So until that user clicks log out, I have full access to their account. And I'm, if I had to guess, this website probably doesn't have timeouts either. So um, that was another thing with Facebook is they didn't implement um, inactivity timeouts. So um, if somebody could have free roam access to their account as long as they wanted. So until I log out, which I will now, um, somebody could be in your account and you wouldn't even know. So we'll go ahead and refresh this and show you that, yep, I'm not signed in anymore. So it's a pretty cool tool I've been playing around with. Um, if you guys have questions, just drop them down below. But I just want to show you how when websites don't implement the proper security, your data is just kind of leaking out there. So if somebody, if you're using like a public Wi-Fi, something like that, somebody could be capturing your account credentials and uh, take over your account. So. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more videos.